The Speed Governor both turns your Multimax tool on and off and allows you to vary the speed. It consists of both the on-off switch and the speed control circuit board. The most common problems with the Speed Governor are a tool that will no longer turn on or you can no longer vary the speed. Replacing the Speed Governor is a repair that you can do yourself and I'm going to show you how. Hi, I'm Mark Socha. Do-it-yourself repairs like these are easier than you might think. From lawn machines to cordless grills, kitchen mixers, outdoor grills, our how-to videos walk you through each repair from start to finish. So doing it yourself means never having to do it alone. Let's get started. I'll begin by removing the lower handle cover. Now I have access to the speed governor, and I'll begin removing it. First, I'll note the location of each of the wires, and then I can begin removing them. First, the white wire that goes to the brush holder, then the two black motor wires, And now the wires from the cord. With all the wires removed, I can lift the speed governor away from the housing. Now I can install the new speed governor. First I'll align the switch with the housing. And then the circuit board. Now I'll begin reconnecting the wires. On the side of the circuit board with the white wire, I want to route the black motor wire underneath it. Then connect it to the circuit board. Then the other motor wire. Now I'll connect the white wire back to the brush holder. And it'll take a minute and tuck these wires back into the housing. Now I'll reconnect the cord wires. And then I'll tuck the wires back into the housing. I want to make sure that the wires aren't rubbing against the speed control wheel. Now I'll reassemble the housings. I'll start by reinstalling the protective film. It goes around the brush holders. Then the wings.
and now the lower cover. And I'll secure it with the screws. And that's all it takes to replace the speed governor on your Dremel tool. Be sure to check back often for new videos and expert advice. If you found this video helpful, give us a thumbs up. 